Greetings, everyone, you're on Green Time, where we engage in scouting, hello to all footballers, scouts, and parents. Today, we have a scouting report on a young prospect from the Dynamo Moscow Academy, born in 2006, the attacking midfielder Viktor Okishaur. Through a detailed analysis of his game, let's try to understand why Viktor is one of the strongest players of his generation in Russia, whether he is expected to play at the Premier League level soon, and why he deserves close attention. Let's start with general information and his statistics, Viktor Ionovich Okishaur. Born on December 30, 2006, is currently 17 years old and actively competes at the second tier level of the Russian Championship. Over the last two years in the Club League 2021-2022, a youth tournament among the best academies in Moscow, Spartak, Dynamo, CSKA, Lokomotiv, Radina, FSHM, Strogino, Viktor and his team became the dominant force, winning the championship several times, receiving medals for performances in the senior team, and winning more than 30 matches, victories over 75%. He consistently scored 24 goals, not a profile forward, and actively assisted. In 2022-2023, in addition to the club league, he was called up to the UFL Team U16, U17, MFL, and the second league Division B Group 2 team, UFL 1, 1 match, 90 minutes. UFL 2, 22 games, 1,331 minutes, 6 goals and 3 assists. MFL, 20 games, 1,043 minutes, 1 goal and 3 assists. Second League, 20 games, 723 minutes, 2 goals and 2 assists. Total, 63 matches, 3,187 minutes, 9 goals, 8 assists, and 8 yellow cards plus matches in the club league plus matches for the Russian national teams U18 and U17. How he handled such a playing load remains a secret. Position Okishore has been used extremely versatilely in the last two seasons, with his positions actively changing. Attacking midfielder, 29 games, 6 goals plus 3 assists, left winger, 20 games, 3 goals plus 5 assists, right winger, 4 games, central midfielder and forward, 2 games each also played one game each as a defensive midfielder and central defender. Strengths First touch, exceptional, almost always in play with minimal touches to handle the ball. Wide stride, despite not having phenomenal speed, he compensates with a wide stride, covering space on the field faster than other players. Ball control, keeps the ball close, using his body and changing directions, making it extremely difficult for opponents to approach. Combined with dribbling, he becomes a highly dangerous player with the ball. His combination play and short passes with teammates is extremely effective in advancing the ball and maintaining possession. He has a sense of opening, understanding how to move to open up between the lines and receive the ball in open spaces. After losing possession, Victor doesn't disengage from the play, instead, he actively engages in counter-pressing. Due to his long stride, opponent pressing becomes dangerous as he quickly shortens the distance. Moreover, he can immediately make tackles, causing opponents to make unprepared passes. Understanding of the game, creativity, and field vision, his positive aspects, where he has a clear understanding of what and when to do, although he sometimes lacks the technical passing arsenal to execute his plans. However, all orange flags can still be addressed, and most importantly, his football IQ is at a good level. The player is characterized by versatility, able to play in multiple positions, attacking midfielder, central midfielder, left winger, right winger, forward from depth. But there is a downside, uncertainty in positions. His optimal role is an attacking midfielder slash central midfielder without defensive responsibilities, but many clubs do not play this way. Therefore, the sooner he and the coaches define his optimal role, the faster he will fully adapt his game and progress even more. There is a risk of becoming a hostage to his versatility, confidently able to play everywhere, but not truly excellent anywhere. And now, let's move on to his orange flags these are not weaknesses but components that, when worked on, can be improved and make him more well-rounded. Speed skills, Victor's speed skills are above average, but there are limitations in acceleration, it's challenging for him to outpace opponents in a pure speed race, through dribbling, change of directions and deceptive movements, he needs to be prepared for frequent fouls, 
psychological resilience is crucial here, and an adequate reaction to such situations is necessary, as referees might not always whistle borderline situations, otherwise, there's a risk of receiving unnecessary cards and, of course, injuries if his style of play is not adapted. Complex passing moments, he often makes correct decisions and executes simple to moderately difficult passes, however, more complex passes, where the technical arsenal of a playmaker is required, have a lower success rate at this point, the key is that there are ideas and vision for such plays, it's necessary to develop the speed of making correct decisions and different types of passes, between the lines, diagonals, cutting passes. Predictability, an interesting point is predictability, Victor tries to find a passing partner and often makes ball movements in dangerous zones from where a shot can be taken, as long as opponents are not prepared. However, even at the current resistance level, defenders can understand his playing style by the 50th 60th minute and adapt, more experienced defenders will be ready for Okashore's next move. Surprisingly, aerial duels may not be a strong point for a midfielder with a height of 187 cm, he's not always able to take the right position, win the physical battle for it, and observe the timing for a jump, most likely, at the youth level, Victor was freed from such roles and simply lacks enough experience on when and how to act. This needs to be worked on, especially in a league where the ball is often in the air, this yellow flag can be turned into a dominant aspect. Endurance, the player is extremely active in accelerations and openings in the first intervals of halves, usually, he spends the last 10 minutes less actively, and fatigue is noticeable, if he plays full games, his influence and activity significantly decrease after the 70th minute, most likely, this is because Victor doesn't gauge his physical abilities and tries to do everything. Once he starts reviewing his own matches, identifying moments when it becomes challenging unnecessarily, he can start addressing these issues. Interestingly, even in the Premier League, he has a similarity to the national team player Anton Moranchuk, a highly popular archetype in modern football, favored by scouts. However, Victor has more potential in anthropometrics, both lack a defined position, for wingers, there's not enough speed, as forwards there's a lack of good finishing, and as central midfielders, there's a problem with interceptions, they work through pressing and interceptions. There are few clubs in Europe playing with central attacking midfielders, so finding the most efficient role is necessary, preferably as early as possible, otherwise, a few seasons of his career might be lost. Secondly, despite having a wide stride, technicality, and above average passing ability, they cannot be considered excellent playmakers. They can show a few creative solutions, but consistently and effectively passing with progression is challenging for them, especially for Victor at this stage. Share Shesov's message about the golden youth, which must work on their talent to realize it, perfectly explains the situation if there are excellent potentials but several yellow flags that may hinder complete realization. Working on them requires character and good mental strength. You'll supply all necessary resources for study. This type of analysis enables him to observe various players with similar profiles, learn from them, and pinpoint areas for improvement. Central midfielders, Dominic Soboslai, Liverpool, Red Bull, evaluate his playing style, decision-making, and adaptability. Alexei Moranchuk, transformed in Torino, focus on his transformation and how he navigated changes in style or position. Wingers, Dejan Kulusevsky. Tottenham, analyze his movements, decision-making, and effectiveness as a winger. Take Fusakubo, Real Sociedad, Villarreal, examine his dribbling skills, vision, and contribution on the wing. Lucas Vera, Orenberg, study his playing style, particularly in terms of versatility on the wing. Remy Cabela, Krishnadar, Montpellier, Lille, observe his creativity and how he contributes to the attack. Parallels with Arsene Zakarian. Drawing parallels with Arsene Zakarian is inevitable, both being Dynamo Moscow products, favoring the left flank in their youth, and sharing a similar playing profile. However, a direct comparison would be unfair. Arsene left a lasting impact, even in the MF League at a more mature age, while Victor is a year younger than his opponents, gaining experience with adult players in the Russian second division. The comparison should consider their different stages of development. At this stage, Arsene in the MF League version excels in all aspects compared to Okashawar. Better playmaking skills, more stable execution of complex and cutting passes, unpredictability due to his long-range shots, higher speed and decision-making, thanks to accumulated experience and playing minutes, and more confidence and audacity on the field. Victor Okashawar possesses several good playing qualities, along with some limitations and anthropometric advantages, much depends on his mental strength, handling setbacks, 
professionalism, and whether he chooses to persevere or considers his achievements sufficient, given his talent, his potential is at the RPL level, preferably in top-tier teams, with the potential for Tier 1. He stands out as one of the strongest players of the 2006 generation, combining pure talent and physical attributes. The success of his first season is crucial, ideally through a loan to a lower-ranked Premier League club for necessary experience, results production, and defensive skill development. Playing in a club with open space is easier than in positional football, and a successful first season can significantly enhance many skills. Starting at Dynamo and meeting team objectives might be challenging, it depends on how the coach decides to use him. Without serious injuries in the next three years, Okashore has the potential to shine and become a young star in the RPL and the Russian national team.